Thanks for coming down on this Saturday. Jay, my pleasure. This is an amazing Saturday, and I, I want to, you know, get together with you on what happened today and what it means, what it means in terms of the city, what it means in terms of the state, what it means in terms of each of us, and, uh, and, and, our, and our way of looking at it going forward. So um, you're especially qualified. Tell me why. So, um, well, I don't know if I'm that specially qualified, but I can tell you that um, I, di I did have exposure to it when I was with the Hanneman administration. One of the things um, that I was in charge of besides IT was public safety oversight for communications. And as part of that, uh, we brought in things like uh, interoperable radio systems, because remember back in those days, remember 9-11? Fire couldn't talk to police, police couldn't talk to ambulance. Hawaii was the same then, or Honolulu was the same then. We brought in a single radio system. We brought in wireless enhanced 911, where I could dial 911 from a mobile phone, and a first responder would know where, I'm, where I am, and they could send the ambulance there, or the fire truck or whatever, or the police officer. Any first responder, we did that. We started using social media. Remember when the entire island went down because of the electric outage? Mm -hmm. We were using Twitter. We were tracking what was going on using Twitter before even anyone was even looking at social media and Twitter feeds to communicate with what was going on within the islands. So as part of that, I got to be part of the Department of Emergency Management. Um, I sat on in a number of meetings and so on. As we were going through, the state and the city were going through, a number of changes that were going to be made to make um, our Department of Emergency Management better. It used to be called Civil Defense back in the older days. So, so I've had some exposure with that. So that's, mm -hmm. I'm assuming you're bringing me in because, okay, well, you have based on that. Disa what, disaster communications. Disaster, and that's disaster what we had this morning. Right. Yeah. And that's what we had. So what happened as far as you're concerned? So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sitting, getting, going to make coffee this morning. The alarm goes off. And, you know, and typically because we're doing tests and so on, I, I just went, oh, I didn't realize this was Tuesday. First Tuesday of the month, right? Okay, let's go check. And, oh, it is. And then I looked and I said, okay, emergency. But it didn't say this is a drill, this is a test. It said this is not a drill. And so I go, like, wait, wait, you don't say not. Usually you say this is a drill and then such and such. You don't say this is not a test. You know, that, so that, that kind of didn't read right to me. And then I couldn't hear any sirens. And first, the next thing you do is you turn on radio. KSSK is one of the local radio stations that's identified as where you get your news. They still weren't doing anything. And I turned on the television. And when I turned the television on, there was a broadcast that came across the television mm -hmm. that said, this is not a drill. And so I said, OK, we're missing a number of parts, but we got two pieces that seem to say that there's something amiss. I still wasn't, I still kept making coffee. I still, it didn't feel right. It just didn't feel right. There was too many other things that need to go along with it. Yeah. But who well, would know? I was at my computer after actually working on something for ThinkTech and, uh, and my phone was right there and it beeped and I looked at the thing and I said, my God, you know, Verizon couldn't be kidding me. This has got to be serious. Right. This is it. This is the big moment. Because I always joke about, you know, if, if you saw a bright flash uh, over the western side of Oahu, would you be surprised? A lot of people say, no, I wouldn't be surprised. After all, we have all this bishbash going on between Trump and Kim Jong-un. So maybe, maybe he's doing something. And um, now this is sort of a realization of that joke. The joke becomes the reality. So I said to my wife, uh, Sharon, we, we got to get down to a safer place in the house. We got to get away from the windows. Uh, there's a ballistic missile incoming. It's the end of everything. Let's, you know, let's go down and, you know, and find a safe place. A lot of people were panicking. And she was very, she was terrific. I tell you, it was, you know, in terms of our systems, our systems to the extent that, you know, they could work, work. What can we do? We did the right thing. We got into a safe place within the house. And I'm thinking we live in between mountains. You know, maybe the mountains would protect us from the uh, initial blast. So we thought about this before. And, and so, um, you know, uh, we were there and I had my phone with me and I called my brother in Washington. Uh, I said, uh, you know, Gene, uh, <laughs> um, what, what have you heard about this? Because surely this would be national, right. international right. news. By this time, it's around 8, 12, 8.15 this morning. And he said, you know what? Sounds like fake news to me. So, so I know, and I was doing the same thing. I was looking, I got, got, got onto the web and started looking at other 